It would help if I had my tea. Oh, that's better. Oh, the tea is hot today. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique and this is Dominique's Diary. I hope you are settled with a cup of tea like me because today it is another installment of The Tea with Dee. And today's video is based around um, the racism that me and my boyfriend, Thomas, have experienced as an interracial couple. So the tea is definitely hot today, like super hot. I have peppermint tea today. Um, so yeah, get yourself comfortable, sit down, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so for those of you that don't know, I'm with um, an amazing guy, his name is Thomas and he has been my boyfriend of three years now and um everything is fantastic um if you were asking um basically um for those of you that don't know i am mixed race and thomas is white so we have experienced some instances of racism ignorance whatever you want to call it we've experienced it and i just wanted to do like a quick video on it and kind of just address some of the um situations that we have experienced and just kind of talk about it and and reflect on it now before we get to it I've got lipstick um, this is Mac it's called lady danger I might possibly get it on my teeth so if I do I apologize because I've been getting it on my teeth all afternoon and it's doing my editing. basically um, we've experienced a lot of things we've experienced indirect so i suppose people not actually physically saying racist comments or ignorant comments but if you have never been in a relationship that is judged you might not know what it feels like or what it looks like but when you're in a relationship that people do judge um you for being together you you know the looks you see it and it's it, you recognize it and it's not just me Tom has seen it and recognized it too now when we first got together um, we took a trip to Ikea and we actually got a lot of looks that day in particular I don't know why it was more than any other day um, but we got a lot of looks that day and Tom got it from a lot of black guys and I got it from a lot of old white women uh, the black guys were quite young and it was just like it, it's unbelievable because you don't you know the looks you get guys that are like mm, like that and then women are just like <laughs> it's just like like they're shocked the women are just shocked it's like oh young young man and oh he's with a black girl oh okay oh. and then the black guys are just kind of like why is she with him you, you can see it all over their faces and i just think it's really really rude really rude and through our relationship we have experienced those type of instances quite a lot um when we're out shopping and we don't tend to experience it now either we're completely oblivious to it or it just is not happening um Yes, gadget, but so um, yeah, I just some people might say, oh, you're just being paranoid. I don't think we're being paranoid. Like I, I see it, Tom sees it, and other people see it, and it's just, it's. I find it really weird, and I don't think people realise. The expression that's on their face I think that they feel as though they're hiding it really well but we know that look we've seen it so many times before we see it we've seen it in town we've seen it on nights out we've seen it in the daytime when we're shopping you know just go into Asda and shopping and you walk around the corner of an eye and you just get and they literally just look at you both like and I just don't get it like what are you looking at is there something on my face is there something on his face like do you like my hair is it his hair like what what are you looking at <laughs> just don't get it i don't get it other instances we've experienced are i'm gonna put my, my tea down for this one this one really did 
not upset me, but I was really irked by it. Like, really, really irked. Um, Thomas uh, was, I think he'd gone into just a, a news agent on, it, on his lunch break to get something. And he was waiting in the queue to pay. And something would have come up on his phone for his screen to light up. So I don't know if it was a message or, it, basically his screen lit up and he was holding his phone in his hand like so. And there was a man standing by behind him to to the side of him who saw his screen the screen of his phone light up and saw that the background on his phone was me a picture of me and or, a, or it was a picture of us together I can't remember he's changed his screen that many times I don't I can't, I can't even keep, keep up like I look at his phone I'm like you've changed the picture again but anyway um, and so he saw the picture Either way, I was on the phone, and the first thing that this, this man was white, I don't know, I don't think I specified that, he was a white man, and he said to Tom, his exact words were, um, don't, I can't, like, saying it now, it just makes me feel really, <laughs> he said, um, don't you think that you would be happier with someone of your own race? Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Please? When he told me that? I, I mean, the way I reacted now is probably how I reacted that day. I was so angry. I was just like, huh? I was so baffled. Like, one, who are you? Two, why are you being nosy? Three, no one asked you. And four, no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's why he's with me. And you know what? It doesn't even matter the fact that I am a few shades darker than him. It doesn't matter. <sighs> so Tom turned around to this guy and was like, well, no, I'm quite happy. This is my girlfriend. I am happy with her. And the thing is, like, everyone has a preference. Some people don't have a preference. What has it got to do with you? Like, is it ruining your day? Did it ruin your day seeing um, an interracial couple on someone's uh, phone screen? Did, did it ruin your day? Well, you know what? I hope it ruined your day. Yes. That really upset me to the point where I actually wrote a blog post on that situation. And what I'll do is I'll link it down at the bottom. So if you want to read it, you're more than welcome to. Um, but yeah, I was just, I just couldn't believe it. And he was so, just so outspoken, like, like it was nothing. Come on now, people are still, he is still out there. People are still, looking at someone's skin and judging and that is upsetting and it upsets me more than it does him because Tom doesn't let a lot of things get to him he's just kind of like well forget him like whatever and I to an extent I'm like that as well but I suppose because I am not the white person it hits me here more I guess um because there are other instances in life where someone who isn't white will experience racism um, might not be outspoken like I've already mentioned but it's still there and it's really upsetting and guys I mean I don't know what my followers are on YouTube Instagram Twitter Facebook I don't know what your preferences are what your thoughts are on the situation but I just have to say if, if you are judgmental of people that are in interracial relationships or, or or any you know whether it's someone who's in their 20s and dating someone that's in their 70s and you know you're judgmental of that just try and think about the person the people that are in that relationship and think about them like as long as everyone is happy in their relationship it doesn't concern you just support them and if it's a complete stranger just keep your mouth shut like no one wants to hear your opinion at all so yeah that is today's video that is the tea um we've experienced some judgmental people and comments and it's not nice and i mean how do you you just have to address it at the time 
you have to move on and get on with the life and not let it affect you because if you keep letting what other people think affect you it's going to drag you down and make you really insecure and upset and you just don't want to get into that kind of space so i would just say if you're experiencing anything or have experienced anything just keep it pushing keep it moving and to those people that are racist or ignorant just keep your mouth closed no one cares no one no one is interested in your um in your view because your view is quite malicious it's not nice um it's not nice to hear that all you are looking at is the shade of our skin that is it you're not thinking okay are these two people compatible are these two people happy you're not thinking that you're just thinking he's white she's mixed race and that just doesn't go together well actually it does go together and it has gone together for three years and counting okay and that is today's tea with d so i hope you liked today's video um if you are already a subscriber don't forget to give me those thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you think oh my god i've got lipstick all on my thumb if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hopefully i'll see you again soon see you later